what's going on Twitchers, it's Jimmy Safir and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. This is called the Mind Chess mod and this mod allows you to play chess in Minecraft. However, it's not quite as simple as it seems because this mod also adds generated structures, basically these chess boards, into your world and it sort of acts as like a dungeon or a trap based on whether or not if you beat the board or if you lose against the board. So I'm going to show you guys all of that in this video. But before we get started, I would just like to say that um, I and my wife, my wife and I, were watching, um, we watched all eight Harry Potter movies over the, uh, the, the holiday break and everything. And so I felt like I needed to review this mod because it's very, very similar to Wizard's Chess, which was in Harry Potter. So uh, <laughs> quick side note there. But yeah, I'm really excited to get into this and show you guys how this mod works. So let's go. All right, so this mod has four different items that you can craft. There's a fifth additional item, but that is only obtained if you beat the dungeon or if you beat the board uh, in an actual generated structure. And um, the fifth item is uh, basically this. Uh, we well, can't see it here, but it basically allows you to select a color of the board, either white or black, to um, become the AI. So uh, the first thing you create are these little guys here called the chessboard columns. And you're gonna need a bunch of these chessboard columns in order to create your full chessboard. So to create these, you take uh, four pieces of black wool and four pieces of white wool, and it's gonna give you a chessboard column. Now if you take uh, eight of these guys and combine them in a pattern like this, it's going to give you the chessboard generator. Now if you have a chessboard generator in, in your inventory, and you hold it, you'll see it shows you like a little green square of where your chessboard would be generated if you were to right click and place this down. So I happen to do this over there to show you guys, you know, what the chessboard looked like from the beginning. But if you've crafted yourself a chessboard generator and you right click uh, on the ground like this, you'll see the chessboard starts to set itself up, which is actually really cool. And the pieces sort of uh, auto align and move themselves into the appropriate slots and you can then begin to play. However, you need to have a specific tool in your inventory, in your hand, in order to play. And that is these guys right here, the, the white piece mover and the black piece mover. And they're both created the same, or crafted the same way, both with a stick and then four pieces of wool in their respective color, either white or black. So if I take these uh, over here, uh, I'm actually just going to play on the board that I set up over here. And uh, basically what this allows you to do is to select your pieces to move them. So um, the pieces are actually kind of interactive a bit. You can kind of walk through here and you'll see they, uh, you can kind of bump them and move them around. They do sort of reconfigure themselves and move back into position, which is actually really, really cool. Um, you can see this guy will probably jump back in just a minute. There he goes. And uh, so anyways, the way that these piece movers work is you select a piece on your board and it'll tell you in the chat you've selected the pawn and then you can move, it shows you where you can move your pieces. So if you don't know how to play chess, which I know how to play chess, but if you don't know how to play chess, this will help you help you out as well. And they got some new achievements as well for this mod and everything. So because I haven't set an AI uh, or the computer to either one of these colors, um, if I wanted to play against myself or whatever, then I will go ahead and select the black using the black piece mover and move the pieces accordingly there. Now this is a multiplayer mod, so you can play with your friends, which is really cool. Um, but if you go ahead and use the uh, AI generator here, uh, let's say I want the um, uh, the black team to be the computer. Uh, it's now my move since I've already moved here. So let's say I want to move my knight over to here. Then the you'll see the chat says good move. Let's see what I can do. And then the uh, basically the mod itself will generate a move, and you can see there it move the black pawn forward. Uh, to put pressure on my knight, forcing me to move it to somewhere safe because pawns can attack diagonally. So, um, that is basically that, and he's gonna make another move here. And there's a con uh, config file within the, uh, the mod itself that you can actually change the difficulty uh, of the AI, and you can change the spawn rates of the uh, generated structures within the world uh, to less frequent or more frequent, depending on what you like. So that's pretty much it. I am gonna show you guys now, I'm gonna jump over to another world and show you guys now the generated structures and sort of how those work because those are really freaking cool. So I'm gonna head over there right now. All right, so in this world, I actually set the config file to the uh, to generate the most possible chest boards uh, and they spawn underground. I'm currently at a, um, I'm at a Y axis of about 48 here and there's a ton of chest boards all around me. Uh, they spawn in very, very frequently it seems at this uh, this height in the world. So um, 
In the config file, if you set the spawn rate to zero, it'll turn them off. But the uh, everything other than that, the lower number, the more it'll spawn. So I actually set this to one. And so these um, these boards have spawned in very, very frequently. And as you can see, I've got a ton of chess boards around to mess around with. So um, I've actually already jumped into this one. Basically what happens is once you, uh, oh, there it goes. It tells me what to do here. Once you jump into the board, it'll tell you what to do, what your objective is. And it's already a pre-played board here. So you can see there's some already, moves have already been made. And my objective was to uh, mate white in two moves. So I need to put the uh, white king, which is right here, in checkmate in two moves. So um, I'm gonna try and figure out how to do this. I need uh, these piece movers first, or I can do this here. It looks like my game is lagging a bit. Um, so uh let's see if i move this guy to oh it doesn't show me where to move him so if i move him here let me see if i move him here and then the other guy's gonna make a move okay the pawn, the pawn took him out um the other condition as well which is actually kind of interesting is oh wait it does show it up there okay cool let me move that here anyway the other condition that's actually quite cool is the um if you lose, there's four conditions in which, um, well, how did he die? Oh, I'm losing. Okay, I did two moves, so the board is losing. So there's different conditions in which um, things will happen once you lose. If you win, the other, uh, the king, I believe, will turn into, yeah, the king will turn into a chest, and um, there will be an automatic, uh, the wiki for this mod says there will be an automatic AI piece in that chest, along with other you know goodies and whatnot if you lose you have to face different mobs for instance a charged creeper um, sometimes the board uh, you know just goes up in flames so I'm actually gonna try and show you guys how this works here and see if I can do so what is my minecraft doing this is ridiculous it's super laggy all right so mate white in two moves all right so let's try this again here what is okay I guess this creeper is messing up the uh, the chessboard here all right Queen stay where you are all right so let me see here I need to move, uh, let's go there. I think that's where I got where I gotta go. Oh, there's the king, the, sorry, the king is over here. That was a bishop, my bad. The king was right there. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do this either. I can't, um, I can't seem to put, put these together because, oh yeah, here we go. Now the chessboard just, you know, turns into flames because I lost. Uh, I can't seem to make the, the correct moves here because I haven't actually well I, first of all I haven't played chess in forever I used to play a lot when I was younger and um, Also, I uh, <laughs> I Haven't you know, I, I wasn't playing this game and setting up my moves or anything So I'm just sort of going to this blind, but I do want to see if we can get um, we can beat this and or if we can get some more um, You know situations where we lose and shows the different uh, things happening here So what is going on is it gonna tell me what to do? Okay? Mate black in one move. All right. So the black king is over here. We've got mobs running around. This is annoying. Let me let me kill these guys real quick. Get out of here. All right. You die. There we go. You quit walking on my chessboard. Okay. So got a mate black in one move. Let's see here. Uh Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Moved our my rook down to here. And there we go. Checkmate. Boom. Humans are greater than computers. Well bam. So the king dies and it gives me a chest. Which, as you can see, it does have the AI uh piece in here. Um, and then some bread, some seeds, coal, um, ingots, and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. And uh once you win, all the pieces will just die. And you do get XP from them as well, which is actually quite nice. Um, so, alright, let me do one more board, and I'm gonna intentionally lose on this one. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what, what happens after I lose. Get out of here! May White in two moves. I know how to lose this pretty fast. Oh my gosh. I'm lagging. Alright. So let's just move my pawn forward there. Move this forward there. Oh, it's White's turn, my bad. There we go. Okay, move that there. And... Yes, drugged. So you can also, uh, potion effects will also hit you as well if you lose. 
So yeah, guys, that is the Mind Chess mod. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like down below. Leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you thought of the mod review. And if you want to download this mod for yourself, uh, the link will be down below in the description as well. And oh my gosh, this is freaking making me sick. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.